Walking into this building feels like walking into my home. I walk into a structure that I watched get built, that I had a role in designing. Moving into the building was not a walk in the park. We spent a lot of time uh, doing that and getting it done. We marched forward in a direction of excellence and of loyalty to students and of engagement of students and for that we shall always be grateful to Ron. But I think his biggest accomplishment was building the community here. A very wonderful close-knit student body. This is a place where people come together for a common purpose. That's why it feels like a home. The dedication, the preparation that he brings to the classroom experience has benefited our students. And so anybody who wants to become a great professor should try to emulate Ron Riccio. Whether you are the most successful or whether you're in your deepest failures, once he's with you, he's always with you. He is the person who has so influenced my vision of my deanship and creating the atmosphere where future Seton Hall lawyers thrive. The first priority for all of us here at the law school is the students and teaching the students and trying to help the students not just become good lawyers, but also to become better persons on their way out than they were coming in. The focal point became student, 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 and anything else became secondary. He's the type of person that leads from in front, but he sees each of you as individual leaders follow in one direction. I was not only blessed to have Ron as the dean of the law school, but I also had him as a professor for his civil procedure. He gave us one caveat. He said, all of that is attainable for each and every one of you if you're willing to put the time and effort in that it takes to prepare yourself for this profession. He was so successful in the classroom precisely because of his practice experience. When there's an injustice in the uh, what we call the class action area, Ron gets involved, they have a problem because they're going to have a four or five year battle on their hand and if it's the right way that Ron should prevail, Ron will prevail. Mm -hmm. That's his history. I watched it every day for 20 years. This is one of the very, very best lawyers that I have come across. His entire approach to the practice that really, really sets him apart. There's nothing better than taking a young person who wants to be a lawyer and shaping them to understand how to think like a lawyer, to understand how to act like a lawyer, to understand that being a lawyer is more than just knowing the law. Talk about someone who epitomizes what it is that you need to be as a lawyer and as a, as a person, and you look at him as a father, grandfather, husband, son. I've seen him in all the phases of life. This is the kind of person to emulate. He provided a unique blend of legal theory and practical knowledge that was unmatched by any professor. His lessons stay with you over the course of your career. Congratulations, Ron. I can't thank you enough for where I've come from, where I am, where I'm going. And to me, you will always be the dean. There is no one more deserving to be recognized by this great university than you. Your nobility in action, Ron, there's nobody better. Thank you. Thank you for um, decades of friendship, mentorship, and really for being there at the very beginning of my career and, and showing me uh, how to do it, both as a lawyer and as a person. Congratulations, Ron. Have a great night. To me and many others, Dean Riccio is Seton Hall Law School. Congratulations on the Distinguished Graduate Award. Ron, I owe you so much. Thank you and congratulations.